As we've seen in the United States in the last couple of weeks, there are no laws around abortion. Abortion is only allowed by the Supreme Court decision known as Roe versus Wade. And courts, as we are seeing, can change their minds. In Canada, we don't have any laws either on this. We depend on the Morgenthaler case, which essentially decided that it was not illegal. So the question is this, would you support legislation around abortion? I am pro-choice, and my government would not bring in legislation or support legislation to change or to restrain the rights of women. The situation we have now is what we should maintain. And that is a very clear, the, whether all candidates except one on this stage okay. has stated their position on I this. Got, uh, Mr. Aitchison. I will always defend a woman's right to her personal reproductive health choices, period. Always. Thank you, sir. Mr. Brown. I'm pro-choice. I support a woman's right to choose, and any government that I lead would not uh, revisit this issue. And uh, Mr. Polyev. A Polyev government would not introduce or pass legislation restricting abortion. Dr. Lewis. I am pro-life, and uh, women in... <laughs> Women in Canada can have an abortion up until nine months, and so there is no restriction on abortion. What we need to do is have conversations oh. about what we believe in, Thanks. what we're we out of, agree we're out of time. on. Mr. Baber. I, I don't believe that government has a role in how people start and grow their families. If as Conservatives we want to stay out of people's lives, then we should stay out of the most intimate areas of their lives. But that doesn't mean that we don't respect parliamentary democracy, that we gag our MPs, that we don't allow people to contest nomination. I'm wondering how all my friends feel okay. about others in caucus who Thank have you. different views. We're, okay. Let's just further explore this a little bit. Mr. Charest, I want to start with you, and Mr. Aitchison, I want to bring you into the conversation as well. Uh, you say, that, you know, everybody interpreted the question of a law around abortion as restricting it. What if it was a law enshrining it? Well, it's, it's not what's anticipated. I mean, it's clearly not the case. But on this issue, let's, can we be clear on one thing? Every candidate in this race needs to tell the women of Canada where they stand, whether they're pro or against. They, the women of Canada, deserve to know where they stand. And Mr. Poliev's answer, quite frankly, does not fit that test. Okay. Uh, we will be taking 10 seconds away from Mr. Poliev, but Mr. Aitchison, get in. I think that... Uh, That's nonsense. It, it's That's nonsense. Yeah, Mr. That's Aitchison, nonsense. please go ahead. I think it's important for us to always be respectful of each other. There are really strong views and deeply held beliefs on this issue. Uh, and this is one of the problems that I see in our, our party today. We, we've become factions and we don't listen to each other and respect each other as we debate ideas and differing opinions, uh, then Canadians will never trust us. And so this to me is about respect uh, and really I don't see a lot of that, unfortunately, on this issue.